guys, how's it going? For a start a new playlist today. It's uh, FAQs, obviously standing for Frequently Asked Questions. I tend to get a lot of questions in my inbox asking very similar questions to what someone else has asked, and it just sort of get annoying, like, uh, you know, replying to the same questions over and over again. So I thought I'd just make a video. Well, a, a series of videos. Uh, the first one being what applications I use to record my computer, my computer screen. Okay, and obviously I've used quite a few in the past actually, and obviously there's ones that stand out compared to others. The main three being Record My Desktop, which I'm actually using currently, Kazam, which I've been using for the past couple of weeks, but it's sort of messing up sadly, and also GLC, which is similar to Fraps, which I used to use quite a lot, but you know I'd prefer to use the commentary and proof that it's actually using that I'm using Linux by showing, you know, my desktop. Okay, so starting with record my desktop. Okay, so record my desktop. You can actually get in the Ubuntu Software Center. This is record my desktop. So if you go to Ubuntu Software Center, go away, go away, just see, stop skipping ahead of things. Record my desktop. Uh, I think you can, yeah, you can just type that in, or you can type in desktop recorder if you want to. And there it is, install that, boom! Obviously I've got it installed, so I don't need to do that. Okay, there's also something else you need to get, which is called Pulse Push. You can just type in Pulse, and boom, there it is, Pulse Audio Volume Control. Very, very, very handy tool. Okay, so this is, I'll, sh I'll just show you it, it's better. Okay, if I go in recording, uh, as you can see there, I'm currently recording, and the thing that is currently in this box is what I'm using right now, it, that, which is obviously my microphone. Uh, what I can do before I start a video is actually change it to internal audio, which instead of you know using my microphone, I can actually record gameplay sound instead of my voice. Uh, I can choose to do that, I used to do that at some point, but I'd rather not do that. It might be helpful for people who may want to record gameplay videos on Linux, uh, maybe do what I do, try and, you know, help the Linux community grow. Uh, that'd be really cool if you could do that. Moving on, I'll actually show you record my desktop. Okay, so video quality, sound quality, very simple, you know, wanted to record better quality, uh, worse quality, the same for the sound. It sort of just makes the file size a bit smaller, but uh, it doesn't make a difference for me really, so 100-100 will do fine. So I'll just show you the settings that I use. Performance, frames per second, 25, encoder and fly. Can choose that, but it, as says there, requires a lot more processing power. I can do that if I want, because I've got a very powerful processor, but I think I'd prefer to be patient and have a reliable video. Zero compression, yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Full shots at every frame, make sure you tick that if you're going to make gameplay videos. Really, really need to tick that if you're making gameplay videos. Just don't question me and just tick that if you're making gameplay videos. Just do it! <laughs> uh, sound, you don't really need to know much about that. Uh, channels 2, I don't know why it's at that or frequency, but. You know, like I just said, I've shown you this thing. That's all you need to know for sound. Misc, uh, you know, full mouse. I don't choose to use that because, you know, it's it's more helpful for YouTube channels like Linux for you and me. He does a lot of tutorial sort of videos, and you know, maybe he wants to zoom in on certain areas of the screen, and you know, I, I don't need to do that. I just record the whole screen. But that's very helpful for if you want to make tutorial videos, you know, it's like obviously Linux for you and me does. Carrying on. On here you can actually choose a portrait of the screen, so you can just go, I want this portion of the screen recorded. But obviously I don't. So, yeah, that, that's it really if you want to do that. I'm not really keen on doing that. Maybe if you don't want to actually show that you're running Linux for some reason, I, I, I don't know why you would want to do that. Maybe it's for a, a, a smaller screen game. I used to do that a couple of times. Right, moving on. I've gone on a bit long about recording my desktop. I use that. I recommend that. Actually, I need to show you the converting tool I use as well. 
All right, uh, the OGV files it produces are a bit of a pain in the ass, and I recommend getting a Rista transcoder to actually convert the videos. So let me show you a Rista. A Rista, boom! I found this the other day, and it's really helpful. So you just want to go file, and I should have an OGV file here somewhere. Uh, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Boom, OGV file. Very rubbish for like playback, in just in all general use. Real bad sort of format. <laughs> you know, it's a pain. The ass actually. Uh, look, you've got all these sort of presets, but I use web browser, web M. That's a quite a good. I can't even think of the word. Quite a good file extension. It's compatible with Caden Live and uh, just lots of applications in general. It runs really nice when playing back. So yeah, if you go go create that, as you can see, it's uh, rendering straight away. Um, oh God damn it, I don't want to do that. Very helpful tool. So stop that, and it will just say job done, even though I just cancelled it. So really good to use. Boom, job done. Okay, moving on uh, to Kazam. Kazam, I've used a couple of times, and I recommend using these command prompts. These command prompts. These commands in a terminal, because this will get you the latest version of Kazam. So I will put these in the description. Always check my description. And yeah, like I said, I always recommend them latest versions, all that sort of stuff. So Kazam Pow, it's got a nice UI, very simple to use. If you've got multiple displays as well, you know you can use choose which one to record from. As you can see here, audio source one and two. So if you want to do like commentary, like I'm doing, and gameplay sound, you can do that if you want to. Like there you go. I if I started recording now, it would do exactly that, which is a really good idea actually. Um, encoder type was WebM and something called Matroska. As, correct me if I'm wrong, Matroska. WebM I use. Uh, it's actually the, if you remember from Arista, it's the thing that, that I convert OGV, OGV files into. It's a really, really good, ex uh, good file extension, whatever. Good file type. Uh, countdown timer, so if you for some reason want a five second countdown into the video recording, or if you just want to get straight into the video like you do with Record My Desktop, boom, that's for you. Frame rate, just keep it 25. Capture mouse, yeah, it'll be capture mouse, so if you can see my mouse now, that's capturing it. Record region, like Record My Desktop, you know, you can choose where you want to record from. Very good application. It actually encodes on the fly, so uh, when you actually stop recording it says save for later use or you can actually choose to edit it straight away uh, I usually just save for later use then edit it later on in Caden Live yeah I think that's it for Kazam very good application I've been having problems with it lately which has you know left me to go back to record my desktop but you know you might not have problems it's probably worth trying out because Kazam is Really good. I'd use. I would actually use it all the time if I didn't run into the problems with it, which is a massive shame. But record my desktop. It is. Uh, moving on to a GLC, the Fraps like application for Linux. Uh, as you can see, it says there. <clears throat> if I scroll down, it says here you can install GLC from official distro repositories. So that basically means that when you type in GLC, it should just be there, which it is for me because I've installed it. I'm not too sure if it does that because I don't recall doing it. I'm sure I took a couple of extra steps to get it into my repositories. But, you know, if, if anything like that is actually true, then I will put that in the description. So, yeah. Very good application. I used to use it quite a lot until I decided to start doing commentaries again. It's, uh, it's not easy to use compared to Kazam or Record My Desktop. You've got more command based sort of thing to use so I, I don't know let's go to uh, I don't I don't want to show this because it's a bit of a pain in the bum to get working so basically I'll show you the sort of commands that you use right so basically I think I've actually got a thing somewhere so if I go oh no I deleted it didn't I great uh, right all right I'll just show you the commands here right okay so what this is doing here is 
I'll just show you. Usually you just go GLC, play, then wine, preload, whatever the file name is for that .glc file. Uh, to actually record the gameplay, sort of gameplay videos, you go capture, uh, wine, then whatever the X file is for, uh, for example, you know, uh, Morrowind, Morrowind.exe, boom. Obviously that's spelt wrong, but that's what you'll do. You would execute it with wine. You'd run it like normal after you've typed in GLC capture. And then you use F Shift and F8, I think it is, to actually start recording. And press it again, obviously, to stop the recording. And once you've got that file, you want to actually get... You want to split the audio from the video, because the GLC files that it produces are really weird. So, what, as you can see here, I've actually used the Heaven Engine, which is to sort of t stress test your computer's capabilities. So, as you can see, GLC Play, that's the file that is was recorded and these are the main bits here that you should be using and it uses it ex turns it into a, the file called audio.wave wav whatever you want to call it uh, that takes quite a bit it doesn't really show anything in the terminal as to what it does it just does nothing so just be patient wait for it to be done fully and then use this command that's not a fully completed commander, so let me just take a look for something. There's so many stuff here. GLC play. As you can see, there you go, yeah, that's a fully completed command right there for you. So there's the obviously the main file being heaven.glc, and these are all the rendering sort of stuff. And there's the audio file that it will attach to the video file. And there you go. And it actually shows, you know, step by step what it's doing, and it basically shows you when it's done and all that sort of stuff. It's really helpful. But once it's done, it's turned into a video to AVI file, or you can just change the name of it. <laughs> but yeah, I'll put all these commands in the description. I would show it in play, but I'm pretty bad at these sort of things. But as long as you've got the basics of how to use that application, and you know, I'll attach a video that I used for GLC, with GLC, sorry, uh, like Crisis 2 or something. Uh, I used that and the frame rate performance is so much better than Kazam and Record My Desktop. I'm not even going to deny that. But, you know, the downside being you can't prove that it's Linux. A, a lot of people were like, how is this Linux? I don't understand. This is not Linux. It's like, yes, it is. But I use GLC. GLC is very good. And they were like, no, it isn't. <laughs> you know, it's it's just a pain in the A to actually, you know, use that because people doubt that it's Linux, and I don't really want that. But yeah, if you check out the crisis video, I actually do GLC at the start runs really nice, and I showed a difference between GLC and recording my desktop, massive difference. But yeah, I think that will actually do. I I think I've covered pretty much all three of them. Yeah, yeah. I obviously used record my desktop. GLC I used quite a while ago. Cause I'm, me, it's not working for me lately. But whatevs. Right, I think I'll do now. So, yeah. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful, guys. Uh, give it a thumbs up or a favorite and. Subscribe to me if you haven't already, if you found this video useful, it would be nice if you could do that. Any questions, just ask. Before you ask them questions, check the description. It would be really cool if you do that. Thank you very much for watching, guys. See you later.